If you'd like to control your CUI files a little more tightly, yet still give the users the capability to create some of their own elements, you can use what's called an enterprise file in combination with your normal CUI file and give the user the best of both worlds. Let's see how this works. So first we'll go to the options command under the files tab and we'll expand the customization file section where we'll see our main customization file here and our enterprise customization file here. What I do as a starting point is I take the ACAD CUI or CUIX file that comes with AutoCAD in the first place and I copy it up to a network folder. This way I can use it for everyone around the network and I set that to be my enterprise customization file. Then for my main customization file, I set up what is in essence an empty file and I like to call it user. There's no law that says it has to be named user, but I just use that as my starting point. Once we set this up, we exit out of here. Now we can see that the various elements for the CUI that we would expect to be are here like ribbon tabs, we'd be able to see menu bars, and we would also see up here the ability to select our workspaces. Now we'll see the default, say AutoCAD Classics, 3D Modeling, these are the workspaces that come shipped with AutoCAD by default, but we'll also see a user custom workspace. And this is where our user will be able to set things up to their liking. And maybe they want to turn on tool palettes or their properties palette or, or have some of their own toolbars floating around, whatever. So let's go into the CUI file. We'll just simply type in CUI, go into the editor, and we'll have a look around at how this works. We'll see up here that my user CUI file is presented first in the list, and it is for all intents and purposes empty. It doesn't have any of its own ribbon elements, although I did go ahead and define a toolbar just so that we would have something to explore in the, for the purposes of the exercise. Down here, we'll actually see the enterprise file itself. Notice how that is marked as read only, and that is not just because it is in a network folder, that is because the enterprise file, by being designated so, is read only, it cannot be modified. Now the question might be, how did I create this empty user CUI file in the first place? That can easily be done here at the transfer tab, simply by coming over here to this, which creates a new customization file. You would simply click that, that would create a new but empty CUI file that you could use over here as your user one. Now in the user CUI file, only a single workspace has been created right here. And I'll click that. And by going into the customize workspace function here, we'll be able to look down through here and see that in this particular workspace, none of the default menus or ribbon elements that we would expect to see from the enterprise file have been activated. So if we were to go look at that workspace, I don't expect to see much on the screen. Let's validate that. So we'll go ahead and leave here. We'll use our workspace selector here to go to user custom. Sure enough, not much there. Just one pull down menu and one toolbar that I created. We also elected to turn on the tool palettes. Let's go back to another tab. We'll use the AutoCAD Classic one this time. And we see that interface elements more like what we'd expect are there. So back into the CUI editor, simply key in CUI at the command line. Now what we would do is simply select our user custom workspace, use the customize workspace function here, and let's go down into the enterprise file and let's turn on all the menus, and all the ribbon tabs that we would expect to see. We'll now say done. Apply our changes and exit the CUI editor. Once we come back out into the workspace, we see here that the ribbon elements and drop down menus have been turned on as we would expect because they came from the enterprise file, but the user specific controls like having this one toolbar or having their tool palettes active have also been turned on as well. Now from the workspace selector, we could always go back and take say the AutoCAD Classic or the 3D modeling or the drafting and annotation function, 
which would be coming from the enterprise file. So let's go ahead and select one. So that will go ahead and bring up only those elements that you would expect to see from that workspace. That's the default vanilla ACAD.cuix file that ships with AutoCAD. Notice that we would not see the user specific elements like the floating toolbar or the palettes that we had a moment ago. And this workspace, since it comes from the enterprise file, is not negotiable. So to recap, by using an enterprise file in combination with a user custom CUI, we have the best of both worlds. We're able to secure the elements that we would expect to have from the default AutoCAD CUI, yet we're also able to customize things as we'd like to here, giving our users some flexibility while retaining the standardization of the main interface.